Hey guys, what's going on? It's gonna be a short video. I just got done doing a video about religion. I know why. Anyways, whatever. Um, when these videos go up, what order? I have no idea, but they're gonna be up within this week. Anyways, let's talk about Into the Wild. I've heard so much about this movie over the past few years, and I'm talking about the last 10 years, 15 years. This movie, I think, came out around 93, 94, somewhere around that time. I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. But I remember seeing this soundtrack at the library a long, long time ago. And I seen the name Eddie Redder. And I was like, holy shit. I love Pearl Jam. I love Eddie Redder. And lo and behold, this gave me into a whole new thing. And later would find out that he did a ukulele album, which is amazing, by the way. If you haven't heard of that. But End of the Wild was a movie with purely, I think, except for one or two songs, all Eddie Redder. All Eddie Redder music. I loved it. Watched the movie knowing that there was going to be good background music going into it. And uh, it, was, it, was, it was a really, really good movie. It was like two hours and a half long. So don't be going into this thinking it's going to be a short movie because it's not going to be. It's a long movie. You have to watch it. it it's very, very emotional. It takes you on a huge emotional roller coaster throughout the movie. It it kind of starts where uh, it's about this guy, a kid, a teenager, who graduates college and he wants to basically live on his own. He doesn't want anything. He wants to live off the land. He wants to go into the wild, as the movie's called. And he wants to go to Alaska to live in the mountains and to just live there on his own away from the world away from money away from social social aspects of life and he wants to learn how to hunt he wants to learn how to fish he wants to learn how to you know do things that that can help him live off the land like you know build i think he built some kind of thing with the water like in the movie but it was a really really good movie um like i said he, he wants to do that so it shows all these journey uh, with him meeting people along the way. The way it, it kind of lays out in the movie, it kind of goes back and forth. Uh, it shows him getting dropped off uh, in Alaska at the beginning of the movie. Uh, and then it flashes back to you know him having dinner with his sister, with his parents. Uh, you know, And they have a, a lot of money. I guess they're pretty decently well off. They're not happy, but they have money. And you know they're always fighting, though. His mom and dad were always fighting when he was younger. Uh, when he was in high school and everything like that, he graduated high school, went to college, and kind of went away. And you know, he I guess he bought some junky car. And you know, in the beginning of the movie, they're like, you know, trying to get him a new car and everything like that. And he's like, I don't want anything of it. And it kind of leads, I think, to what he. It kind of pushed him probably over their edge of what he wanted to do. Um, they get in a little bit of argument, not that big of an argument, but basically he leaves the restaurant, and that's basically where the journey goes. And you see kind of the sister asking questions throughout the movie, like. Um, about him like I don't know why he's not mailing me which never really was given in the movie why he never mailed her back uh, and at the end of the movie there is a picture um, and I'm not giving anything away when I say that but there is a picture of him living in the Alaska mountains and I don't know if this is I don't know if everything was true in this movie but I, I I'll probably look up more of it and give you guys an update maybe in a vlog uh, down the road but um most likely, it was probably loosely based on this guy's life, which that's amazing. If somebody actually did this, it was pretty crazy. You know, it's all the adventure. And it's, it's hard to even begin to tell you guys about anything. But just think about going from one side of the country to the other. <coughs> and, you know, having to get to Alaska without a car. Because I think he basically drove all the way um, until he couldn't drive no more. I think he pretty much, I'm trying to think where he was when he used the car. Because I think he drove from West Virginia is where he originally started from. Oh, wait, no, that's not right. Where did he start from? I think he was in North Dakota? No, that's not it. He was somewhere at college. Because he went back to college, but then he graduated. So he, wherever he was, I can't remember where he was at graduate. I think he was just somewhere in California, I thought. But then why did his parents just go over to his house? So I don't think he was in California. I don't know where he was. Either way, it wasn't California. He was in uh, West Virginia, so somewhere. So he's from somewhere, and he was, he but somehow he drove somewhere and just abandoned his car. 
is where it basically starts at here at the beginning of the movie. And you know, then you know, like I said, the journey starts. And like I said, it's just kind of one of those things where you can only imagine. You know, he the, the craziest scene about that is, and you have to see it to believe it. And you're like going, "What?" He burns money. He burns all his money at the beginning of the trip. <coughs> Which to me, I'm like, "Whoa, whoa! Why wouldn't you just put that put it away, like just in case you need it? You know, just don't buy anything. Have the self control not to buy anything." But I guess he just couldn't trust himself, maybe. I don't know. But it's a really, really good movie. It makes you think about things. And, you know, it it's hard to explain. It's just one of those movies where you watch it, you watch it, and you literally just can't stop watching it. it it's that interesting of a movie. The guy, the actor is like Emil something. It's like It looks like Emily, and I thought it was going to be one of the girls. But it's actually the main character. It's a guy. E E M I L E. And I, I want to say Watson, but I don't think that's it. It, it might be it, but I, I, don't, I don't really know. Um, I'm in the car. I, I don't really have anything, no notes or anything written down right now. Um, but anyways, there you go. Uh, I would check it out. It's on Netflix right now. I was excited when I seen it was coming on Netflix because I've been really wanting to see this movie for the longest time. Uh, Eddie Vedder, great music to go by. If you like Pearl Jam, it just makes you like this movie even more. Um, and it's not like super throughout the movie there's a lot of music at the beginning it seems like there's a lot of music but then it kind of stops for a while and you know about seems like everybody every 20 25 minutes uh you know there, there's some pearls that music going on so it's pretty good um and i think at the end like i said there's some girl singing i don't know who it is i'll have to look it up at some point maybe tell you guys in the later vlog uh, yeah there you go hope you guys enjoy everything like comment subscribe check out into the wild definitely worth checking out if you like it a little bit slow but if, but i tell you it goes it goes pretty good once you start watching it if you have some time check it out i don't think it's something that uh i mean it might be okay with like a girlfriend or something like that sit down and watch with it uh but it's not something to watch with your guy friends or anything like that it's not that kind of movie um it's kind of just a relaxing movie about nature if you're a fan of nature this is definitely up your alley because it's really really about that but even not being a fan of like being a camper or anything like that which you ain't going to catch me camping anytime soon. Um, it was still a beautiful movie, and it was shot beautifully, and, you know, just everything in it was... Whoever done, did the movie, which I think it was... I think it said it was an actor. I think it was uh, Sean Penn. Great movie. Good God, Sean Penn. Make more, more movies like this. If he has, I'll have to look him up. Because uh, this was shot really, really well. Everything was done really well. Actors were great, I think. Uh, the chick from Twilight was in this movie, for God's sakes. Uh, yeah, the main chick. Uh, she was in it, too. And she was acting like she, she wanted to jump the main character's bones. I'm just telling you, you're going to watch a movie and find out with that. But uh, he didn't do it. Good. Pressure was on. And he said no. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, all the good jazz. I'll catch you guys later. Keep rocking. And keep on watching any better songs in movies. Can't really watch songs in movies, but you get my drift. Later.